Welcome back to the penultimate Resident Evil 4 speedrun part, and we have just picked out sluggish Mitch Mick clicks a lot. Oh come on! Ashley does not have a cap. Does not have a uh, Celtic last name, or Irish last name rather. Well, her last name is Graham, like Graham Crackers. Yeah, which is British. It is. Yes, Graham. Graham is most certainly European of some of is of some descent, but goddamn Europeans! They've already taken over the White House. This is this game really is war on America. I I don't think so. I mean, Leon is very clear is very clearly some uh, some upstart from Brooklyn. <laughs> I wonder where Leon actually is from. I believe you'll find that he's actually from Kansas. Hmm. Small town boy. From a quiet place in the middle of nowhere. That way he can be more directly uh, relatable to Superman. Yes. Boy, he is Superman. He's got fucking, like, lasers. Super, su it's always been canon that Superman had, had uh, eye lasers, right? Yes. Okay. He has pretty much every single optic power on the planet nice. that you can think of. I think the only optic power he doesn't actually have is ice vision. Ice vision? Yes. So The ability to stare at something and make it freeze. Ah. I mean, technically Batman has that power, but it's an emotional freeze as opposed to a physical one. <laughs> How dare you remind me of my childhood. Shit. Hey, Batman is kick-ass. He is kick-ass, but he's also a pussy. <laughs> How is Batman a pussy? Because he's a whiner. He's whining oh. about his anxiety, his lack of a girlfriend, his dead parents. Like, shut up! <laughs> that happened like ten years ago or something. <laughs> Get over it! But no, it said he has to commit suicide. Spoiler alert, that movie came out like like eight years ago. <laughs> uh, is that uh, Begins that you're referring to? No, it's Batman Rises. Oh, Dark Knight, okay. Yeah. That's not eight years yet, is it? I think it's five. Um, when did that movie... That movie came out in 2010? I was thinking of The Dark Knight. The Dark Knight came out eight years ago. Okay. Yeah, so Dark Knight Rises... No, that's right. Dark Knight Rises, Rises came out in, tw in 2012. Okay. And uh, you, you, you've seen that movie, right? I have seen Dark Knight Rises. I did not care for it. I kind of... Um... I, I do really like uh, uh, the, the Dark Knight, though. Mo although, mind you, I like it mostly for the interactions between, uh, uh, between Harvey and the Joker. Yeah, those are those were some. I think actually, I think they only ever interacted once. Um, directly, certainly, but uh, the Joker and Harvey interact with Batman and Bruce quite frequently. Oh yeah, yeah, one or the other. But the Joker is like a the mad medium between the two. Mm -hmm. Perhaps a figurative observation. Oh, is this the truck ride? It's the truck ride. It's a sequence I can't fucking skip. Deadman does not like the truck ride. Deadman dis detests anything that slows him down. But he loves that his tassels are sticking out at a perfect perpendicular angle to the ground. It's not even perfectly perpendicular. Sli and it would be parallel, not perpendicular. Oh yeah. I screwed up my math terms. I love geometry. Nerds! Nerds! <laughs> oh, come on. Surely you can think of different insults than just nerds. Only because I just so happen to have referred to mathematics. Ah, you guys make me need to adjust my hat. Leanne's never able to throw that hat, is he? Um, he throws it upwards. Yeah, he throws it upwards during his third taunt, but... I mean, as as an actual distracting projectile. If only, right? Um, that that taunt is activated by reloading the Chicago typewriter. 
because the yeah the Chicago typewriter has infinite ammo so but um, you do have to be using the Dipman skin in order to use in order to do that. Every other indication you would actually like feed a useless clip into the Chicago typewriter. So, if we have a if we have the Chicago typewriter, how come we can't save wherever we want? <laughs> that is a great point. The point is that the Chicago typewriter does not use ink. It uses oh. pain. <laughs> it uses pain, suffering, and the blood of and the blood of innocent puppies. No. Leon loves puppies, I think. Well, Al Capone Leon does not like puppies, so there. Well, I didn't interact with the dog in this playthrough. Maybe Dipman does have a just have a distaste for our canine companions. You guys don't like dogs, do you? That's why you must be punished. <laughs> well, back back to the left. God damn Ow. it. You have screwed up Seriously, my run. that's half of your fucking health. I think these guys start to do a little bit more damage with the mace. And they have tasers. Ashley, you are not in danger. Shut you up. You are... Ashley is not in any danger at all right now. As a matter of fact, I think I make a... I think later... I think in a short while I make a point to uh, let you know that she, she is invulnerable. Yep, I do it right now. Drive! I said drive! <laughs> but Leon! I'm, I'm only 17, I don't have my driver's license yet, and this is a heavy machinery thing! Don't I tell do not me! I have a heavy machinery operating license! I said shut up! <laughs> I'm gonna tell daddy on you. No, don't tell daddy. I'll lose my fucking pension. Well then stop shooting me in the head! It's so much fun, though. My work is stressful. I need stress relief. Look, you can have stress relief when we get back to the hotel. You think I enjoy shooting the heads off of zombies? Eh, maybe? Only kind of. My point stands. You should be grateful. I am so totally telling Daddy on you. Want another bullet in the back of the head? You've already tried that like four times. Yeah, it's clearly not going to work. It's just annoying. It's mostly only useful while I'm in a sequence I can't skip. Are you satisfied, Ashley? No, no, I am not. You destroyed the world. Oh, there's still a world. Now Ashley has been zombified, so now she will not be bothering us for the rest of the game, mostly. No. I have 22 minutes and 11 seconds to make it to the end of the game. At this point, I am getting doubtful whether or not I am actually going to make the two-hour time constraint. Next is the fight with Wesker, isn't it? Uh, not Wesker, no. Leon doesn't fight Wesker. Oh, okay. Uh, next is the confrontation with everybody's favorite random villain who nobody cares for, Jack Krauser. Krauser, my bad. No, oh, it's all good. See, Kra you're not you're not supposed to care about Krauser. Krauser literally comes out of nowhere. He jacks into the story. Well, so does Wesker. And then he jacks off on my patience, especially with this fucking sequence coming up. Yeah, this is the this is the uh, uh, the quick time event fight. This with, is uh, the quick Krauser. this is the quick time event fight. No matter what you do, no matter what trickery got you here in the first place, you have to play by the rules. Krauser, when did you learn how to teleport? This no matter how many <laughs> Krauser has magic like plaga strength. But he can't kill Leon because he's stupid like that. I died in the crash two years ago. 
Is that what you've heard? For the tenth time? <laughs> Mind you, um, these the I these quick time events have never gotten easier. You have maybe like a half second to press the button, and if you press the wrong, it's not it's also not as simple as pressing both buttons simultaneously. If the game detects that you hit the wrong combination, then it puts a stop, so it doesn't accept any button commands basically for the remainder of the event, and then you die. Right. It's I get tense as hell during this part. Okay, how the fuck did Leon go from falling backwards into a backflip? Because he's a genius. His no, he's a ninja. His intelligence gives him ninja powers. <laughs> and it also gives him just lucky strike. A ambidextri a ambidextry plus 20. Yes. It also gives you reflexes plus 50. But no, Krauser has to prove I am the true master. Umbrella. Almost let it slip. Enough talk. Die, comrade. Now, hey, is Krauser hey, supposed hey, to be hey, Russian? Hey, no, no, no. He's American. I he's I I don't I'm not sure exactly why he's wearing a beret. But that's as easy as that I might as well say that I have no idea why he's wearing any of the things that he's wearing except for the army fatigues. Well, I'm more concerned about his uh, his choice of language because he referred to Leon as com comrade multiple times. That is true. I, never, I mean, I his voice actor is clearly American, but I'm pretty sure that if you bother to look into Krauser's backstory, you'll find out that he's Russian. Maybe the subtext, in order to make Krauser's character easier to understand, is that he's he's basically a traitor and. If you've ever read about the Red Scare during the 50s, we were all worried that the communists were coming in and going to infiltrate America. But this event happens during the 80s. <laughs> no, what, th this game, or...? I believe this th th that this game takes place either during the 80s or the early 2000s. This game takes place in 2004. Okay. It, ta it takes place six years after the year 1998. Oh, I'll never forget it. It was the year when I couldn't get my dry cleaning done, and I had to wear that stupid leather jacket that I totally ditched after the first five minutes of this game. Chair! Chair! Wait, you can take the chair? No, no. <laughs> I wonder how many inventory slots it takes up. It would probably, well, you could always carry it around on your ass. What's something that you always sit on but you can't take with you? It's a chair. <laughs> um, no, there, there was an emerald on the chair. That was, that was the thing. Oh. And then when you, after you get the emerald, you get a question mark prompt. And if you hit the prompt, Leon sits down like a badass. But that would destroy the speed run. It would destroy the speed run. Although, I, I, a good speed runner probably would have been able to do that and still set a, a uh, an admirable record. This is U three. He is annoying. U three is essentially the uh, the large monster from Red Dead Evil Two, though. U three would be U two if Bono grew a second head. Are you sure if it would be if Bono grew if Bono grew a uh, insectoid body? That also would be a valid manifestation of U3. So basically, we have to kill Bono. I would love to kill Bono with a gun. Oh, but Bono isn't terrible. His, I, I just he doesn't put good feelings in my head when I listen to his music. He sounds like he has way too much money. He does have way too much money. But his voice conveys that. <laughs> it's not that it's his fault. It's just that I can't stand it because of my prejudice.
But I've also never really understood why this game calls this creature U3. He's the he's the third uh, he's the third Unity experiment from Umbrella. That sounds like it could be valid. Umbrella might as well have planted this creature because Umbrella is letting this letting all this shit happen in the first place. The only tricky thing about this fight is the quick time events. If you get hit by the quick time event, not only will you lose a lot of time, but you also do have to heal. Must. Kill. John Bono. I, I think his first name is John. I, I don't think... is it? I want to say it's Robbie, but... Hmm... I am going to open a browser real quick to settle <laughs> this. <laughs> Meanwhile, the slowdown and the conspicuous English instructions in a European setting are going to run while Safari loads. What is Bono's first name? Jesse Eisenberg, what? His first name is Paul. Okay. Paul. Because his full real name is Paul David Hewson. So I just killed Paul David Hewson, and I'm totally proud of it. No, more Ganados. More dummies. Oh, I love running away from you guys. And in the next part, we approach. You collapse the mine shaft? We approach the end of the carrot in the most difficult fucking gauntlet section in the entire game. This is the helicopter segment, right? Yes, sir.